Hey, Jason Mendez here. We're at the Jet Pilot headquarters with my man, Steve Goldberg. Steve, how'd you get to Jet Pilot and what's your position here? Uh, I guess I started a couple years back, about two and a half years ago now. Um, I started uh, with a my career in action sports. I uh, started in the motocross industry, or motorcycle industry for that matter, and then it was a fairly smooth transition coming over here to the wake side, um, wake, general boating, personal watercraft uh, side of things in the action sports industry. So uh, my current position here is uh, I'm the brand sales manager, so I kind of oversee everything from sales and marketing to product design and development um, and everything in between with riders and uh, dealer-based. Um, going to shows, events, stuff like that as well. So I kind of run the gamut as long as, of, as far as Jet Pilot is concerned. That's awesome, man. That sounds like a lot of fun. Definitely. Especially for Jet Pilot as a brand. You know, we look at it as a heritage brand, so to speak. It's one of the few specialty brands that's right. still around. Definitely. You look at some of the big names out there, not to single anybody out specifically, but there's a lot of rubber brands that are, are really... <laughs> <laughs> <You> <laughs> To, to say the least, yeah. I mean, it's uh, <clears throat> we're one of the we're one of the uh, only handful of brands left out there that haven't sold out to the big box stores. So yeah. um, we've been around for 30 years. You know, we started we got our start here in personal watercraft um, as far as jet ski racing and, and freestyle is concerned, and then we kind of transitioned into wake and boat sports and stuff like that as well. So, um, like you were saying, you know, we're one of the few left that are specialty specific, that aren't in any of the big box brands, um, trying to stay loyal to our, you know, our dealer base and, you know, web-based dealers. So um, kind of kind of puts us um, in a fairly loyal spot when it comes to dealer sales and stuff like that. Awesome. Well, I certainly hope that they reflect the same loyalty back to the brand at times, but uh, you know how that goes. <laughs> I, I, I do, I do. And you know, it, <clears throat> it's like everything else. You know, we, we can only do so much, you know, being like I said, a specialty brand, it's um, you know, the specialty market is getting, it's ever changing and getting ever harder, you know, to get into these, you know, ever shrinking shops. But at the same time, the guys that focus on the product, you know, and the heritage and, you know, the, the, the history that we have in the market, you know, it, it tends to work out fairly well for those guys that, um, that support the brand. So that's great. And speaking of that, you know, from a retail perspective, what are you guys doing to help support the retailers? So, um, as far as as far as support is concerned, you know, obviously myself kind of being a one man band, um, we you know I, I, I do my best to try to maintain um, you know pricing for you know the online and then in shop. Um, with that, you know, we have we have a few different programs that we like to offer depending on the retail um, that the customer is trying to pursue. Um, outside of that, <clears throat> you know, we we do a lot of stuff with. You know local dealers and events in the area to try to help support you know at that ground level grassroots area um, where not a lot of people are doing so yeah. make it, it it's been helping out well it's pretty rad i mean i've seen you personally hand deliver product to events in the effort just to support that dealer for sure and uh and eventually it pays off and it's definitely a lot of groundwork even though it is a, a heritage brand is still constantly acting like we're a small brand in the sense of just really pushing to help the dealers for sure yeah it's it you know it's it's a lot of it's a lot of pound on the pavement and getting out there like i said at the ground level and you know getting out there to support the people that are supporting us so you know we're we pride ourselves in that you know and, and we try to get out there and support everybody as much as possible you know with the resources that we have but at the same time you know we can only do so much as well so yeah great so speaking of retailers what are the good retailers doing well uh a lot of the Things that I'm, I'm hearing feedback wise of the guys that are actually, you know, succeeding with the brand is, is just having a, the brand presence, you know, available, uh, whether it be online or in shop, um, just at, at any point allowing the consumer to know that the brand's available. Like I said, we have, we have a 30 year heritage in water sports, so it's not like we're new, you know, we've just been a very, very uh, specialty based brand, you know, for 30 years. And it makes it a little bit tougher when other brands have gone out to the big box stores, so they get a little bit of a larger presence um, into the general public. But at mm -hmm. the same time, you know, we like to focus on the you know the specialty branded guys that are you know really supporting us, you know, so we can really support them. And you're saying the guys that actually bring in a good amount of inventory, correct? Yeah, support the brand as far as uh, showing the actual brand presence either out on site or in the store or even online. Correct. 
they're yeah. actually seeing the benefit of having that brand. brand right, brand. right. Most of the most of from what I gather, most of the people coming in to purchase products at the pro shop level, or you know, even online, you know, it's it's a it's an impulse buy. So um, it's kind of the same mentality as it is online that it is in store. If, if you have it, they'll buy it. If you don't have it, they're going to buy something else. Right. So or somewhere, um, else. or somewhere else for that matter yeah. too, whether it be online or down the street. So. Yeah. Um, with again, it's one of those things where you know if the the consumer and consumer knows that you have it and you can get it, you know, in the same amount of time that they can get it from say Amazon or somebody like that, and then you know they're more inclined to purchase it from you directly because they're there in front of you. you. Have it yeah, stock, you have right? it in yeah. stock ready to go. Yeah, it's tough so, to compete with online. For sure, having selection is really key. And for sure. So that would go along the lines of successful retailers. Absolutely. Uh, what is something that some of those retailers are doing really poorly? kind of along the same lines of you know just not having it you yeah. know there's there's a there's a fine line between good mix and bad mix um, or not having any product at all so um, <clears throat> it's all about brand presence you know just letting people know that you have it and you have the availability to get it mm -hmm. um, if they don't see something in store that's immediate you know you can get it you know we're, we're we you know we're fairly good about drop shipping product yeah, based you know out of LA we're based out of LA Southern California you know so we're, we're we're anywhere in the United States within four to five days you know we can get it there sooner you know if the customer is willing to pay for it like everywhere else you know we have no issues you know taking care of the you know the end consumer you know just like everybody else's awesome and what motivates you as a sales manager brand manager and just getting out of bed every day to be here um, I really, I, I really pride myself on, you know, customer support, you know, yeah. without the dealers, I wouldn't have a job, you know, and without the consumer, the dealers wouldn't have a dealership. So, you know, it's at, at the end of the day, it all comes down to, you know, how we, we treat our customer base. Um, and hopefully the trickle down effect, you know, takes place into the, yeah. the, the normal, totally. you know, the normal, uh, the normal end user. So, um, you know, I, I, I enjoy working, you know, with the dealers and stuff that I work with, you know, they're, they're, they're fairly supportive of the brand and you know, that, that's, that's really all I can ask for. You want a trickle down effect? <laughs> yeah, you got yeah, me. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's really cool. And what, uh, what's the best advice someone's ever given you? Best advice someone's ever given me? Um, just work hard, you yeah. know, just get out there and, you know, put your nose to the grindstone and, and, and don't give up. You know, there's been a lot of roadblocks that I've come across and, you know, whether it be with product or, you know, riders or, you know, whatever it may be, it's just, it's just always been, you know, work hard, you know, and, and, and you'll succeed at it. You know, just don't give up because, you know, somebody's thrown an issue in front of you and, you know, you just want to throw your hands up and walk the other direction. But, you know, if you, if you figure out a way to, to, to work around it or, you know, work through it, it you know, everything tends to work out and, in the long run so um you know you can't be afraid to get dirty i guess yeah I hear you there, man. <laughs> we've been at a lot of shows together a lot, lot of time at pro tours putting grit in the dirt and yeah. just making it happen absolutely awesome man so. really appreciate it so be sure to stop by retailer resources check out our youtube channel subscribe we're going to put these out every twice a month and be sure to comment in the comment section so we can get you uh, any updates or information that you'd like to see thank you so much for stopping by